Welcome again at my paint job. A lot of you asked me, hey Martin, can you paint the handlebar? And yes, of course I can. So what I will do in this video is I will paint this stem bar combo. It's from a Ridley Noah and it's mainly the same like painting a bike. But if you ask, I will do it and I will show you how to paint such a handlebar. And it's from this Ridley Noah, one of my heartwarming projects, a theme bike. And it's from a guy from French Guiana and he wanted me to paint the theme of French Guiana on his bike with a lot of jungle, the Ariana space station, spiders, parrots, also these flower lace-like designs on the top tube, Toulouse. And what I have to do is I have to match the stem, of course, to the frame. I have to paint it golden, also with these flower lace-like designs on top of the handlebar. And if you want to know how to do it, stay tuned and follow me when I paint this handlebar stem combo. The first thing we have to do is we have to strip, <laughs> not me, the parts and to do so I will use some wet sanding paper, 320 grit and of course a bucket of warm water, the water with P, the P word P and warm water, you know what I mean. And here that's very simple, use the wet sanding paper, rub the parts until there's no lacquer on and when you've done that you can do the next step, the primer, the colors, the design, the finish and you are done. But at first we have to do a lot of work. We have to remove the original paint job, the flat black paint job. And again, I will use 320 grit and warm water with the word of P. P, warm water. And here, yeah, that's very simple. Just rub, rub again, rub, rub, rub until you have no color on your parts. That can take some hours, maybe days. And here, yeah, when you're done, you can start with the primer. And I will come back to you when I've stripped all these parts. We will change to the paint booth and I like to show you how to apply primer. That was a lot of work and maybe you have a question, why do we have to remove the original paint job? And the answers are, at first we have to keep the diameter of the handlebars to mount the shifters and the brakes and the most important answer is I can erase any future problems caused by chemical reactions with the old paint job. And believe me, there can be bad chemical reactions like bubbles and it will bubble like a blow off in your bathtub. Don't get me wrong, I like blow off in bathtubs, but I don't like bubbles in my paint jobs. So to avoid that, I remove the original color. So I'm safe from any cracks, bubbles or any other chemical reactions with the new color and the new paint job. I'm starting from scratch, so I'm safe. And the next step we have to do is the primer. I will use a two component system, I pre-mixed it. That means there's a primer, also a hardener inside and some thinner. And if you want to do it DIY, there are different options on the market, spray cans. I will link you some in my video description underneath the video. 1K, 2K options, also 1K options. I will link you some I think are good. So if you want to do it yourself, you can use these spray cans if you have no spray gun. I will use my spray gun. I will fill it with the primer. And now let's change to the paint booth and let's primer these parts. Don't think that things are going my way. Cause that would be boring Spend my last cent on cheese and champagne What a wonderful morning Never mind she declined to the first day It was only on my birthday Never mind all the lines on the highway Give me time to reflect a bit Cause I'm just having a good day Having a good day Having a real good morning I'm just having a good day If you have produced a surface that slick like the bottom of a snail, you have three options to go ahead. You can use some airbrush color to color your handlebars. You can use, of course, spray cans if you want to. If you want to go gold metallic like I do, I recommend the Montana Metallics. 
gold metallic. I'll link you some of the DIY stuff underneath the video in the video description. Or you can go with the pro option if you are a custom painter or a car painter or if you work in a body shop. I choose the pro option because that's client work and then I have to produce high quality. And what we will do now is we will change again to the paint booth. We will color these parts. The color has to cure maybe 10 to 20 minutes. And in the meantime, we will do the design for the top of the handlebars. So let's go ahead and let's color these parts. I will use a mini gun because the color costs more than a magnum bottle of champagne and we will blow off more than 50% of the color into the air and into the atmosphere of the paint booth and to apply as much color as possible I use these small guns if I have small parts. So let's go ahead and let's make these parts golden. I lost a number, never mind, she declined to the first date I went to Vegas with a roommate, never mind all the lines on the highway I aim to misbehave cause I'm just having a good day, having a good day The next step I have to do is I have to create the design for the handlebar which matches the design of the frame we have the golden base color, but there's also a lace design on the top tube and on the head tube I like to do also on top of the handlebar. And to create this design, I need a one-to-one -one model of my handlebar. And I create this one-to-one -one model in a graphic software. I use Adobe Illustrator. And that's my one-to-one -one model I like to paint on. I created also the design, the lace design, I prepared it. And if you want to know how I do these lace designs in Adobe Illustrator, check the lace bike. And in the lace bike video, I'll show you in detail how I create these designs if you want to do it yourself. I prepared it for the handlebar. And what I like to paint on top is the Ridley logo. And yeah, that's it. Very simple or maybe simple. And what I have to do now is I have to cut the stencils for the lace design. And then I can use my airbrushes and I can paint the design on the handlebar. I spent a lifetime running Feeling what I'd become if I Stop playing goalie on all of my thoughts yeah. Speaking out straight from my heart But now I see But now I see Oh, I see this love is taking over Breaking through my chest and overflowing With every single Closer to you
golden color is done, the graphics are on, but there's one step left and that's the finish and the clear coat. So we have to change again to the paint booth. We have to apply some good layers of clear coat and this handlebar paint job's done. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the clear coat to dry and that can take an hour or maybe an hour and a half. And when the clear coat's dry, we can check the painted handlebars. It's dry, so let's check how it looks. And here it is, the painted handlebar. A simple paint job every custom painter should be able to do. A nice base color, little design, some logos and a good finish. And now you know how to paint stamps and handlebars. It's the same like painting bikes. And here I have to clear coat the frame as well. Then I'm done. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in custom painting. Check also my other videos and see you in one of my next custom painting videos. Goodbye.